what are you going to do specifically with that? Because it's such a huge institution that yeah. deals with so many things. If there's anything wrong along the entire East-West Corridor, they take the patient okay. to Mount Hope. First of all, I disagree with your premise. It's a white elephant. A white elephant to me means something that you can do without. If you took the Mount Hope facility out of the health system, what do you think will happen, Hema? Can we get it working? It will, I, do you think it's working? No, no, I, I just want to deal with your premise. It's a white elephant. Okay. So if, if we took it out of the healthcare system, what do you think, Hema, will happen to the healthcare system? It will collapse. So if you it say is, that there's a need, is it is it actually satisfying that need? Well, that is what we have to look at. We have to look at the rationalization of it. So I disagree with you. It is not a white elephant. It's a very useful asset. The question is, are we maximizing it? And how do we maximize this? What do you think are the major challenges? You've been in the job for a week. Yes. Uh, and that hospital con is considered to be one of the major health institutions in the country. Therefore, it is not a white elephant. Okay. Would, would you agree now that your premise is incorrect? Okay, but it's not functioning efficiently. We can agree right. on that good, as well. Good. So uh, what I say, I will, we will do a rationalization of Mount, Mount Hope, where the gaps are. What more facilities can we move in there to utilize it 100%? And that will be done. Now, looking at the gap analysis that you intend to conduct, what a time period are you giving yourself, Minister? Because obviously, I know that you've been there for a week. Yes. So to ask you to say to account for everything and when are you going to fix it? <laughs> I know I'm being Thank a little harsh uh, as it relates to that. But the population, there's no honeymoon period for your of government. Of course not. And we don't expect a honeymoon period. Okay, so let me tell you as Minister of Health what we are doing. We have to do several things in parallel. The first thing we have to do is to take what we said in our manifesto, translate that into national policy and development policy. We have to take the current strategic plan of the Ministry of Health and dovetail that now into what we wish to do. That is ongoing. So at a policy level, that is on, ongoing. One of our policy decisions speaks about primary health care, focus on non-communicable diseases. And my mantra is going to be turning three highs into three lows. High blood pressure, high blood sugar, high cholesterol. Mm -hmm. We need to turn that into three lows. And we are going to marry what we said we were going to do during the election into policy. That is ongoing. Secondly, we are going to develop teams now to tackle the burning operational issues. So on the issue of maternity death and infant mortality, we have to fill the post of Director of Women's Health. We have to look at waiting times. We have to look at the inability of the public system to provide CAT, scan, uh, CAT scans, MRIs on time. So we are doing operational things at the same time doing strategic things. Now, we're looking at those operational issues, but there's simply a basic issue. There's been intermittent complaints over the years that patients at several hospitals, mostly at the San Fernando General Hospital, yes. are sleeping in the corridors yes. and on the floors because there are no beds available. Correct. A basic need like that for a hospital. Correct, yes, and I agree with you. And that's what I'm saying now. We, we are committed as far as possible to building the Point Fortin Hospital. If we do that, then the catchment area for San Fernando becomes a lot less. And people from Point Fortin, Cedros, Labre can stay in their own community. We have to revisit what was done under the past administration to the Transrelean com complex. What are you going to keep floors, what are you gonna... Two floors were reserved for the government of the day to do heaven knows what, which could have been used to provide beds. You know that, Hema. Two floors of the Transrelean complex we use as a playground to hold cabinet meetings and to do heaven knows what. what do you Elevators were reserved for them. And that is a public asset. So again, once I get that bed to patient ratio, we can see now how can we fix San Fernando Hospital so that we can decrease waiting times and people don't have to sleep on the floors sleep on wheelchairs and so on. I know that uh, at the time, and that would have been the uh, Faris Arawi, now Attorney General, spoke of a number of issues, I think, as it related to the San Fernando General yes. Hospital with payments and all yes. of the, Have you looked into that? We are looking into that now, yes. yes. So was, it, was there any truth to what you... There what was, was some it? truth in it, yes. We take a short break. When we come back, we have a couple of minutes again with the Minister of Health as we continue to look at the health...